أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على خير البرية محمد بن عبد الله وآله وصحبه أجمعين Dear brothers and sisters in Islam once again I greet you with the greeting word of peace the greeting of people of Jannah تحيتهم فيها سلام تحية من عند الله مباركة طيبة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته May Allah bless you and accept all your good deeds A question that is repeated every year which is is it permissible for someone to offer a separate independent udhiya on behalf of he on, on behalf of a dead person can a person offer udhiya sacrifice on behalf of his deceased parents for example to make it simple Offering Udhiya on behalf of the dead may occur in one of three ways. The first one, we can call it the inclusive way. The second one, we can call it Wasiya or Wasaya way. The third one, we can call it voluntarily and independent way. The inclusive way that is to offer one Udhiya on behalf of yourself and your family along with the deceased person. The inclusive way is to offer one Udhiya on behalf of yourself and your family members along with the deceased person. For example, you offer an Udhiya for yourself and the members of your family and you include in your intention both the living and the dead for example you offer an udhiya for yourself and the members of your family and you include in your intention both the living and the deceased in your intention this is permissible we have explained this in the previous uh clip because the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam used to offer the udhiya on behalf of himself and his family including the deceased ones such as his beloved wife khadija radiallahu anha his children uh, radiallahu anhum the second way is the wasiya way the will and that is to offer an udhiya on behalf of the deceased person in fulfillment of his or her wishes and instructions given before his or her death. The wasiya way or the will way is to offer an udhiya on behalf of the dead person in fulfillment of his or her wishes and instructions given before his or her death. This is the bequest way my brother, my sister in Islam, this one is obligatory. This one is wajib to be fulfilled, except in cases where you are not able to do that. Because Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 181, concerning the changing of wasiya, concerning the changing of bequest. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim فَمَنْ بَدَّلَهُ بَعْدَمَا سَمِعَهُ فَإِنَّمَا إِثْمُهُ عَلَى الَّذِينَ يُبَدِّلُونَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ سَمِيعٌ عَلِيمٌ Then, whoever changes the bequest, whoever changes the will, whoever changes the wasiya, after hearing it, the seeing shall be on those who make the change. Truly, Allah is all here, all knower. The third, way is the voluntarily and an independent way and that is to offer an udhiya on behalf of the dead person voluntarily and independently the third way is voluntarily and an independent way and that is to offer an udhiya 
on behalf of the deceased person voluntarily and independently. For example, you offer a separate udhiya for yourself. You offer an udhiya for yourself. Let's say you purchase two udhiya, one for you and your family, and one for your, let's say, your, fa your deceased father or your deceased mother. So you offer a separate udhiya on behalf of your father or a separate udhiya on behalf of your mother. This is what we call voluntarily and an independent way. According to scholars, such as the Hanafi, Maliki, and Hanbali jurists, it is permissible to do that, and the reward will reach the deceased and benefit him. They, see, they, say, they said this by analogy, by qiyas, with giving charity on his behalf or on her behalf. Let's say you give, give charity on behalf of your mother, deceased mother, or on behalf of your uh, deceased father, the charity will reach him and will benefit him. They said it's the same here. Slaughtering a separate udhiya on his or her behalf, that the reward of that udhiya will reach them, the same thing as giving sadaqah on their behalf. However, some scholars are of the view that it is preferable, it is preferable not to do that because the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not offer an udhiya specifically on behalf of any of his deceased loved ones. For example, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not offer a separate udhiya on behalf of his children who died during his lifetime or on behalf of his wife Khadija, who was one of the dearest of his wives to him, or on behalf of his uh, paternal uncle Hamza, who was one of the dearest of his relatives to him. And there is no report, no report from any of his companions, Sahaba, during his life, lifetime, that any of them offered a separate uthiyah on behalf of one one of his deceased loved ones. So for this, some scholars say it's not, it's preferable, preferable not to do that. But they didn't say this haram, or you cannot do it. It's preferable not to do that because Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not did that, or did not do that. My dear fellow brothers and sisters in Islam, to conclude, you can use the inclusive way and that is to offer on behalf of a deceased person along with the living ones. You purchase one of here, you include the deceased and the living ones in your intention. As for the voluntarily and independent way, and that is offering a separate of here on behalf of your father or on behalf of, or a separate of here on behalf of your mother, it is okay to do that. It is fine to do that. The matter is broad in scope. The matter is broad in scope. Al amru fihi sa'a. So you can do that. However, it is preferable not to do that due to lack of evidence from the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as we mentioned earlier. It's preferable not to do that. But if you do, Insha'Allah, the reward will reach them. We are talking about having two udhiya, one for you and for your family, and one independently or independently and separately for your, wife, for your uh, deceased loved ones, let's say your father or your mother. But if uh, you use the inclusive way by including all your loved ones, in your intention for one udhiya is enough for you. You use the inclusive way by including all your loved ones in your intention for one udhiya is more than enough for you, mashallah, because Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam slaughtered one udhiya on behalf of his family, the living ones and the deceased ones. Allah knows best. May Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala accept all your good deeds. May Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala accept all our good deeds. 
اللهم ارزقنا الاخلاص في القول والعمل يا الله تبارك وتعالى we ask you for sincerity in all what we do in all what we say ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار هذا وصلوا وسلموا على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين نبي الرحمة محمد بن عبد الله وآله وصحبه أجمعين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وكل عام وأنتم بخير